What'd you say? Oh, it's time for another Vision All Access. So to start things off, why did I even go into AirPods Pro? And I'm gonna put the entire blame on my wife. Hmm, gorgeous. My wife always wanted to have regular AirPods. She saw them, she liked them, she wanted them. Up until she actually had them. Seriously, I've never seen someone fall out of love with something more quickly. I think they lasted about two weeks maximum. And it wasn't really a fault of her. It's just the fact that the AirPods, like almost every reviewer tells you, they're made for a certain type of person, a certain type of ear. And honestly, design-wise, you gotta have a specific ear to really comfortably fit the AirPods. I am not someone who can wear them comfortably. And if you don't have one of those ears, you're kinda shit out of luck. And that's where the AirPods Pro come in. With their adjustable ear tips, my wife absolutely adores these. Here are the five reasons I think AirPods Pro are a great premium option. First off, it's gonna be my absolute favorite feature about the AirPods Pro, and that's that active noise cancellation. Wonderful. Even the little sounds that you may or may not be hearing in this video, like for instance, my water cooler just over there, totally not noticeable. I'm not gonna say these totally shut you off from the world like my intro implied, but they do such a good job that you can get some nice quiet meditation in. You start playing sound or an audiobook or anything, and you're probably not gonna be able to hear something unless somebody really wants you to hear something. Reason number two, ironically my second favorite feature about the AirPods Pro, and that is it's over-engineered noise transparency mode, or as it's probably more commonly called, just transparency mode. Once again, there are a lot of earbuds that actually offer this feature. However, even with the Air Sports from that last video I made, it was always so artificial. It's like somebody was talking into a microphone and it sounded way too artificial. It was getting to the point where I kind of didn't even want to have it on because it was so artificial. But the AirPods Pro, it sounds so completely natural. Like you don't have anything in your ear whatsoever. That's how good it is. Now I know a few of you are probably thinking, oh, you're just making that up. You're such an Apple sheep. No, the transparency mode on these is so good that one time, I actually forgot I even had them on. I actually forgot those things were in my ear. That's just nuts. Number three is probably a reason people just go for AirPods in general, whether it's the first gen, second gen, or the pro models. And that's that small footprint they have. Look at this thing. It's, it's so tiny. I mean, granted, I have a case on these from Spigen. It was just the carabiner clip that got me. That way I can just put it on my belt loop and go. But honestly, like these things, like look how tiny these things are. Like they fit in my hand so well. And I haven't come across many earbuds that fit this natural profile. A minimal clean design is actually what Apple is kind of known for. And that actually bridges over perfectly to my next point. Number four is all about these accessories. Whenever Apple releases something, Everyone, their mother, their grandmother, their whole flippin' family, including in-laws, I might add, jumps on board to make accessories. And yeah, I've seen quite a few stupid cases that go on the AirPods Pro, as well as the regular AirPods. The one thing that always sucks and I think really needs to be improved about the budget space is the fact that when it comes to accessories, there's really not much, if anything, out there. Now, reason number five is going to be that Uber Apple reason. And for people in the ecosystem, I stress people in the ecosystem, the ability to move seamlessly from iPad to iPhone to iMac without having to do a whole bunch of disconnecting and reconnecting. Honestly, it takes that one little annoying quality about earbuds and headphones in general and pushes it off to the side. It's a first world problem, but it's annoying and Apple really solves it using their ecosystem. 
So who should get a pair of AirPods Pro? Please! Well, that answer's kind of complicated. If you are a person that's already in the ecosystem, yes, you have your iPad, you have an iMac or MacBook, you have an iPhone. This is, I'm not gonna say a no brainer because there are other and cheaper options out there, but it's kind of the one I feel like most people should do. Now, what if you're from the other side of the pond? You're an Android user or you're not in that ecosystem. That's where these things kind of fall flat. Without that awesome connection, the seamless switching between devices, it's just a pair of earbuds. You lost everything that really makes them special. You kind of neutered everything that was great about the AirPods Pro. Thanks you guys for tuning in to Vision All Access. As always, if you want to follow me more and hear my opinions about movies, tech, and pretty much whatever, Handles are right down below here like they always are. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I am on there a whole lot. I love to connect with my audience. Let me know what earbuds or headphones are your favorites or what are you rocking? Let's keep that conversation going. Hit the like button if you like this video and give me a subscribe if you want to see more videos from Vision All Access. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace!